Hey everyone, we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to x. y equals inverse cosecant of x squared plus 1, and our x has to be positive. So here's the formula for cosecant right here. I'll write it bigger. All right, so I just wrote it bigger there, and we can go ahead and differentiate our y with respect to x. So this part here is your x value. So the way you want to write it is we have a negative 1 divided by, and we've got to do the absolute value of our x because x has to be positive. So do absolute value x squared plus 1. And then you take the square root of your x, which is x squared plus 1. And then we have to square it, minus 1. Then you also have to differentiate with respect to x, your x squared plus 1. All right, so let's simplify this. y prime equals, now if you differentiate this, that's 2x. So uh, 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. And then you're going to have divided by absolute value of x squared plus 1. Now I'm going to expand this based off the formula a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that's going to end up being square root of x uh, to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 minus 1. Now what happens is the 1's are going to cancel and so you're just going to be left with um, this part here and I can pull out an x squared. So let me do that here before I move on to the next slide. You can write this as negative 2x divided by absolute value of x squared plus 1. And I can factor out an x squared and then multiply this by um, x squared plus 2. Now, when you take the absolute, um, that's the square root of x squared that equals um, absolute value of x. And what's going to happen is the x's cancel. So let's write that out. We have negative 2x. So I'm trying to remember it before I move on. So we have um, y prime equals negative 2x divided by, and I pulled out the absolute value of x times um, and you can write this with parentheses, the second part with parentheses if you want. x squared plus 1 because it's going to be positive anyway. And then we have the square root of x squared plus 2. And just recall what I did is I uh, had this as x squared times x uh, squared plus 2. And I'm just pulling this guy out here. Now, uh, these two can cancel. So now we're left with y prime equals 2 divided by um, x squared plus 1 times the square root of x squared plus 2. And that's your final answer. And uh, It says that x has to be positive, so we can uh, take away the parentheses there. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.